everyone <laughs> welcome back to the channel i usually don't look like this also my eyes are watering because of my contacts today i got up and i decided i'm gonna fix this up here these are my roots and girlies have grown a little bit that's all i'm gonna say they've gotten too long they're out of control at this point so i just went to sally's and I got some stuff. I already have like bleach and stuff at home, but I, I ran out of toner. Here's what I got. I got some more developer, even though I have some, I just wanted to get more. Um, just in case, you know, like I want to be safe. I'd rather be safe than sorry. And then I used to have like a whole bucket of this, like the bucket thing, but I'm kind of like running out a little bit. I'm running out a little bit. So I got like two of these just in case. I don't know. I got some more toner. I think this is the toner I used last time. Like the exact same toner, so that's good. I almost bought hair color, which I did obviously didn't want to buy with that. I said permanent hair color. I'm like, oh, that's not what I want. I want toner. So I got toner. And then I was looking around the store and I'm like, I probably need something for my hair. So I looked it up and this seems to be good. So I got one of these. So that's what I got from Sally's. Now I'm gonna go home and actually do my hair. I've been sick for the past three, four days. I got tested for a bunch of stuff. I got tested for COVID. I did a COVID test twice because my boyfriend had COVID. As soon as I got sick, I'm like, I probably have COVID. I tested negative for it both times. I got tested for strep throat. It wasn't strep throat because um, the only thing that was wrong with me is my throat like was so, it just hurt so bad. It was like swelling up and there and like I could barely swallow. I couldn't even talk. I'm okay now. Like this is probably the first day out of the last four that I can actually talk clearly and it's I can swallow stuff without it hurting. So yeah, but I'm better now. I went to the doctor and they also tested me for mono. Didn't have mono. So I guess it was just like a really bad throat infection, which is weird. Like I was so convinced I had COVID, but I didn't have it. So that's good, I guess. But I got put on amoxicillin which after taking the first two pills i'm better which is good oh and then i took prednisone which is just for like the swelling in my throat so yeah i'm all better now it's good well i'm not completely better like i still feel it in the back of my throat like the bacteria and phlegm all that's built up it got so bad i couldn't even swallow the excess spit that was forming in my mouth i had to get a bowl and then i had to keep spitting into a bowl that's how bad it was Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna go back home now, was just at Sally's, and I'm gonna bleach my roots. I, this is what I'm scared of. So, when you bleach hair, you're supposed to start, like, you're not supposed to start on your roots, you're, so, you're supposed to start further down because your roots lift really quickly. But the thing that I'm scared of is that I let my roots grow out so far that if I do, if I automatically start on my roots, like this up here is gonna be white and then a little bit down here is gonna be yellow. But Lord knows I'm too lazy to start like halfway down and then go up here. I'm literally just gonna do the whole thing. Pray for me, wish me luck. Hopefully I don't get up. Here's kind of my uh, bleaching setup. I have this the quick blue L'Oreal bleach bucket thing it comes in this big container this was like yeah it's a pound this thing is like 20 bucks but just in case i didn't have enough i bought like two of these i had enough so i don't that literally was unnecessary anyway here's the toner that i have or not the, the developer uh 30 volume don't know if that's too much but we're gonna use it i've used it before it was fine uh this is the toner i think i already showed this in the car and then this is like the bowl we're gonna mix it in with the brushes. I don't think I'm gonna use this bowl. I think I'm gonna use this container because it's old. Oh, and then Vaseline for like my hairline behind my ears to protect it from the bleach and stuff. And then I have this, which I'm gonna use in the shower when I'm washing it out. And then we have uh, this conditioner and shampoo that I exclusively use to rinse out bleach because they're just good for that. And I also have gloves. And we're going to use those because I don't want to burn off my hands. And here's what we're working with. B. Look at his tail. Brownie. Brownie. 
Here's kind of a before shot. As you can see, my hair is greasy, and that's because I haven't washed it in a couple days, which is a good thing because you don't want to bleach freshly washed hair. I don't know how it works, but I just know you want your hair to be a little oily, and that's what mine is right now. But yeah, here's like a before. Um, last time I bleached my roots was September of 2021. It's January right now, 2022. It's been about four or five months. My hair grows really quickly. Also, look how unevenly toned my hair is. Like right here looks purple, back here is yellow. That is so cute. But yeah, I'm gonna bleach it now. Hey everyone, how do I... I had to get out of the bathroom. <coughs> hey everyone, how do I look? Um, oh my God, so many chemicals are going up my nose right now. But this, this is what it looks like after I tried getting everything. I think I got everything, but you can see it's like yellow right now. I'm gonna leave this in my hair for like a half hour and then I'm gonna come back and tone it. Hopefully I got everything, please pray for me. That took me about an hour to do. Yeah, it took me an hour to bleach everything and I think I got everything. I think I did a pretty good job. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll be back. <laughs> Why do I look like this right now? <laughs> anyway, um, this is what we've got. This is what I'm working with, which is fine. Uh, usually when I bleach my hair, it turns out yellowish orange. That just means I have to put the toner in and a lot of it. Um, it sort of did that thing that I was worried about happening where it turned like white right here and then the rest is like darker, but I'm just gonna have to deal with it. This is after washing it without purple shampoo. I feel like when I put the toner in and use the purple shampoo, uh, it will be a lot better. It'll be like this down here, not bright yellow. But yeah, also ignore how crusty I look right now, but it's gonna turn out okay in the end, hopefully. Yeah, I just have to wait for it to dry, which will take like an hour, an hour and a half, and then I can tone it. And then I'll be back after that. It's mostly dry, so I'm gonna go tone it now. Boom. We're toning it now, ladies. I'm putting the toner in didn't take nearly as long as putting the bleach in. I look so bad right now. Like, what's going on up here? Anyway, yeah, this is the toner. I'm just praying that it comes out okay. Um, I'm gonna leave this in my hair for like maybe another half hour. I don't know, I have to look it up, but uh, yeah. I'll see you after I wash this out. Okay, um, I washed out the toner. Also, I'm wearing glasses, please ignore that. I washed out the toner. My hair up here is still a little yellow, if you can see that. It's a little orangish, yellowish still. And I would tone it again, but that means I have to use another thing of toner and I don't think my hair could handle that. Uh, I think one round of bleach and toner is enough for, for my hair for now. I'm just gonna, Ugh. I have work tomorrow, so I'm gonna have to go to work like this, but I feel like when it dries, it should be a little better. It should look a little better. Um, I'm just gonna wear my hair up tomorrow, and then when I come home, I'm gonna put more purple shampoo in it. I'm just gonna rely on the purple shampoo at this point. But yeah, uh, still a little yellowish orangish. I'll update you when it's dry, because I feel like when it's dry, it'll look a little better. But yeah, so far, it's okay. It's alright. You can tell I did it at home, okay? Okay. Um, I'm in my work clothes, so I can't really show them. But here's what we're working with. It looks really patchy, because I sprayed a lot of dry shampoo on it. It looks really bad on camera. But it's still a little yellow. I might do another round of toner tonight. I don't know. I thought the purple shampoo was gonna be enough. It wasn't, so I'm probably gonna do another round of toner. I'm not gonna do another round of bleach because I just don't wanna do that to my hair. So yeah, might do another round of toner tonight. I think this is, this is the best I've got for you for now. Here's me, I'm doing another round of toner. My poor hair, oh my God, I feel so bad for it. It's like screaming for help right now, but yeah. Another round of toner. Um, hopefully this is the last thing I'll have to do to my hair. I'll update you when it's washed out and hopefully, I don't know if I'm gonna show it to you when it's dry because I wanna upload this. <laughs> so yeah, so far I've done a round of bleach and this is my second round of toner.
Okay. <laughs> I look rough right now. Hold on, give me a second. Perfect. Unless I'm psyching myself out. Um, I feel like, like it's, don't get me wrong, it's still yellow, okay? It's always gonna be yellow unless I bleach it again, which I'm not going to because that is too much work and too much damage that I would do to my hair if I did that. So it's still yellow. Unless I'm going crazy, I don't think it's as yellow as it was um, after the first round of toner. I think the second round toned it a little bit more. Not much, not by much. It's just a little less yellow. And this is what, what we're staying with for right now. Like I said, when it dries, it'll look a little better, but this is what we're staying with for right now. I'm just gonna keep putting purple shampoo. I'm not gonna wash my whole head with purple shampoo. I'm just gonna keep taking showers and just put purple shampoo on the roots, if that makes sense because I don't want to tone this. This is already good. I want to tone this up here. But purple shampoo does work. The shimmer lights one, shimmering lights, whatever it's called, that stuff works, okay? And if I, I feel like after a few more washes, this should be good up here. I think the toner did an okay job, but I think we're finally done. I'll show you the results when it's dry. Um, but yeah, good morning, ladies. So, hold on, I have to like, hold on, give me a second. So this is what we ended up with. Still a little yellow. Again, I think a couple rounds of purple shampoo will help with that. I probably said that like 50 times this video. I think it turned out okay. I think it'll look better after I take a few more showers and maybe in a few weeks when my roots start growing in because right now it looks like I'm Draco Malfoy's sister, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this video, watching me go through trial and error with my hair. It's always really fun, you know, especially when you have somewhere to go the next day and you f*** up your hair. Really cool. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Have a good rest of your 2022.